Part 4. As an early Christmas present, I released the last episode of the Assault Cube Aimbot series. I hope you enjoy. Hello people to the last episode of the Assault Cube Aimbot. And uh, for the, this last part we will write the aim method. So uh, we'll remove the break point from before and we'll write a new function method so void aim player we'll call him player or us the player and we'll call it the second one player uh, for the data type player and enemy so there we go now uh, in the math video I explained that we will use delta x and delta y to calculate the x view angle so we'll create some variables for that we'll call them delta x and it will equal enemy x minus player x Take that copy paste. Instead of x, we choose y. And there we go. Now we have delta x, we have delta y. Now we can calculate view x. So float again, view x equals. And now uh, we will cast this as a float. I'll explain later. It will be because this math dot a ten two. It returns a double. That's why we cast it as a float. And we do a ten two for a ten reversed. Or a ten for ten reversed. And a ten two uh, gives us two uh, parameters, which will be. Uh, delta y and delta x so the height and the base of the triangle uh, we multiply that by 180 divided by math.py and we'll add 90 to that uh, we also add uh, a parenthesis here so the float will cost this. We don't need to cost this. We can just add 90. Uh, so what we do times 100 divided by pi, that's because uh, a10 returns uh, in radians. So if we want to convert it to degrees, we do times 180 divided by pi. Uh, we do plus 90 because uh, the rotation is offset by 90 degrees so it's not uh, starting from the uh, from the x-axis on the position graph it, if that makes any sense it probably doesn't but the rotation is offset by 90 degrees, just know that. And uh, for the next angle, for view y, we will use delta z, which equals enemy.c minus player.c. And now we will calculate uh, the distance, not the magnitude, the distance, so double distance equals math dot square root and that will be delta x times delta x and plus delta y times delta y so 
This is just the hypotenuse or hypotenuse between us and the player. So we have the distance, double distance. Now we'll calculate the view y. We'll also call cast this as a float. And we will do math dot hit and two delta z now and the distance the distance is the base of the triangle and delta z is the height of the triangle now this we do times 180 divided by math of pi again to, to convert it to degrees so this is all this is pretty much it. Now we have the y-axis and we have the x-axis. Now we just have to write uh, to the memory. So uh, to write to the memory, we do m dot write memory. And here we do base. Uh, what have I called it here? Uh, player base, my bad. So, player base plus view x. And let's remember a small v in front of it so we don't uh, use the float. Oh, never mind. Uh, a big v. So we don't use the float value. We use the variable we did declared here in the offset. So view x, it's a big <laughs> v. Otherwise it will you will get a lot of errors. And the type we will write is a float. And what we write is the view x and this to string. So we do to string because memory.dll takes string values. You should already know this by now since we've talked about it before. I'm just repeating it so you will understand. So we do player base again and guess what? Pl view y now instead of view x. Float again and view y to string. The time is 4 o'clock p.m. Thank you, clock. And now, for the last part, we only have to call the aim function. So, we'll go back to the aim bot. Uh, wait a second. And let's complete the aim bot. So, we have while true, so it always runs through this, and we want to have a button, so you can hold a button to use the aimbot. If you don't want to, you can not use this, but I heavily recommend it. So get async uh, key state, and I don't think we have the DLL import, so. Yeah, we don't have the DLL import. Uh, we have to import get async key state, which we can use to check if we're holding a button down. So user 32.dll static extern short get async key state. And it will take in keys. Vicky. So uh, hover over the DLL input, show potential fixes. And you should get use using system.runtime.interop services. Click on that and it will add to the usings field. You shouldn't get an error now, just me forgetting a parenthesis. 
and that's done we go back get async key state parenthesis key start and you can use whatever button you want you can use the v button you can use the p i will use the x button too this would be mouse four or five on the mouse so if it's uh, less than zero i've done something wrong now there we go never mind there we go so if this is less than zero that means we have the button pressed down so we'll cut this place the tail and continue the method so uh we've gotten the local player we've gotten the rest of the entities we'll take the entities and we'll order them and this is just uh, a method uh, of uh, ordering, ordering them by magnitude so from lowest to highest and do two lists uh, Am I missing something? No, I'm not. So, this orders the players, which are the rest of the entities. Uh, it's ordered by magnitude, so we get the closest enemy first. So, now, for each... Oh, never mind. We'll, we will not there for each. And if... Entities... No, players count does not equal zero so if there are any players you can also do greater than zero I suppose but this works too we'll do a local player and players Zero. This will be the first player in the list, so we'll get the closest enemy. Uh, if we haven't made any spelling errors or something like that, we should be able to test this. Uh, I'll test this in one second. So, all right. So, if we test this. Which, oh, it will ask for an admin privilege if you haven't set it to it. Uh, we'll start the application. We'll go in game. I've made a bot game, so single player, bot team deathmatch, whatever, four players. Now, if you want them to stay in place, single player, bot settings, check the idle bots, and let's hold our aim key would you look at that so this aim ball aims at the closest player headshot a very simple aim bot but fun to me There are always a headshot sound. But as you can see, it's working as intended. It's switching between players. So. 
so after what is it two months <laughs> i have not been consistent but at last the last episode of the assault queue aimbot series is out and thank you guys for watching all of these episodes uh the support has been great and i'm grateful for you guys watching uh i'll probably make another aimbot series but in a different game now so i've been thinking of making a tutorial for garris mod because it's incredibly easy it's easier than this i believe uh let me know what you guys think about that and